salmon. A miraculous journey taking place right here. The salmon journey from here down Issaquah Creek to Lake Sammamish, past Mary Moore Park, Lake Union, the Ballard Locks, out to the Puget Sound, and the Pacific Ocean. They start picking up traces of Issaquah Creek way out in the ocean, and they know by instinct that that's where they have to get back to, and so they do the reverse journey. They come into Puget Sound, they go through Ballard Locks into Lake Washington, from Lake Washington to Sammamish River and Lake Sammamish and up Issaquah Creek. It's 42 miles from Ballard Locks to the Issaquah Hatchery, and what we want them to do is to get up here, and then we have a weir in the water, and they can't get over that weir. But on their journey, they have to go through the locks, they have to suffer predators. All kinds of hazards and potential predators before they get here, but it's a miracle that they make them. The salmon cycle is a major unit in our third grade science curriculum. So all of our students learn about the salmon cycle, the significance of salmon, particularly the significance in the Pacific Northwest and in our local community. They turn red when they're older. What color does that salmon look like? So here in Issaquah is where the miraculous journey of the salmon begins. And those baby salmon get released in the spring, swim out to Lake Sammamish, and then through the Sammamish River into Lake Washington, all the way out through the Ballard Locks to the salt water. They're gonna live out there in the ocean for one and a half to three and a half years, depending on the species of fish. They'll swim up north as far as Alaska before they return back here in the fall to the very same stream where they were born at the end of their lives to reproduce and then die and start a new generation of salmon right here in Issaquah Creek. Please return and see the miracle of the spawning salmon every fall. Salmon, a miraculous journey. 